Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this stylized broken ice material in Blender. You can get the file for a dollar through the link in the description. So let's get started. First let's hit Shift A and add a plane. Go into edit mode and subdivide it by 100. Go back into object mode and let's go to shading. You can use this material in Cyclos and Eevee, but I recommend that you use Cyclos because it looks better. Let's go to Film and make it transparent. By the way, the HDRI that I'm using, uh, there's going to be a link to that in the description. Click on New and add a Noise Texture. Also add a Warner Texture. Now set the Warner texture to distance to edge and let's add a mix, mix RGB. Connect the distance to the factor and here connect the factor to the vector. Now click on new and let's add a noise texture. Now add a Warner texture. Connect the factor to the vector here and set it from F1 to distance to edge. By the way, if you want this preview here, you can get the no preview add-on through the link in the description. Now add a mix RGB. Connect the distance to the factor. And with the mix RGB selected, press Ctrl T and delete the image texture. Move this down. Oops. Connect the object to the vector and connect the vector to color 1. Let's shift select the mix RGB, control shift click. Now we've got this preview here. Add a gradient texture, duplicate it and put it here. Set this one to spherical and the other one to radial. Now here set the scale on the X and Y to 2.2 and on the set to 3.46. Now if we shift select this gradient texture and as you can see now we can control the, the position of the hole. Now let's add a color ramp. Put it here and connect the color of the gradient texture to the factor. Bring the black in like this. Now duplicate the color ramp and also duplicate the mix RGB. Set the factor here to 0.95 and connect the color to color 2. Now from this gradient texture connect the color to color 1. Select the color here and plug it into the factor. Now select all of these nodes and press Ctrl J and M. Go to label and let's call this hole for example. Press N again and add a Warner texture. Also add a color ramp. Bring the white in like this and set the Warner texture to distance to edge and connect the distance to the factor. Now duplicate these two nodes two times and let's add a mix RGB. Set it to 0.95 again. Connect the color to color two and this one to color one. These are going to be the cracks. Now here set the scale to 7.5 and here to 12.8. Now let's select these three nodes and press Ctrl J again. M and I'm going to call this cracks for example. So up here I made a little mistake. Let's disconnect this color here and now grab Grab the color here from the mix and connect it to this one. Now let's shift select this mix. Move this over here. Now let's press N again and add a mix RGB. 
Also add a color ramp. Connect the color to the factor here. Let's shift select the color ramp and connect the color here to the factor. Now select this gradient texture here and connect the color to color one. And here let's select this color ramp and connect this to a color two. Duplicate the color ramp and plug it in here. Let's select it, press Ctrl T and delete the image texture. Move these two up and connect this to color two. Now set this to object and connect the color to the factor here. Now let's move this over again and add a Warner texture. Set it to distance to edge again and set the scale to 6.3. Duplicate the mix RGB and connect the distance to the factor and to color 1. Now let's shift select it and add a noise texture. Put it up here. Set the scale to 100 and the detail to 15. Connect the effect to color 2. Duplicate the mix RGB and let's shift select it again. Move this over again. Connect the color to the factor and to color 1. Now select the distance again and plug it into color 2. Again duplicate it and plug it in here. Plug the color into the factor. Plug this color into color 2. And now let's go back here to the gradient and connect the color to color 1. Now let's connect the color to the base color and shift select the principal PSDF and move this over. Duplicate the color ramp and now make the black a light blue. Like this for example. And now bring the white in here. Make this a darker blue. And now click on the plus and make this a color that is somewhere in between. This for example. Actually I think this is a little too dark, so let's make this brighter. So I select this color here. Now let's add a glass BSDF. And we also need a mix shader. Plug the glass into the top and let's set the factor to 0.25. Set the IOR to 1.333. This is the index of refraction for water. Now connect the color ramp to the color here and to the noise here. Add a bump node. Plug that in here and plug this into the height. You don't have to do this last step, but I'm going to do it to make it more realistic. Connect the color to the displacement and add a displacement node. Plug that in here and plug the color into the height. Now set the scale to 1. Point, I mean to 0 0.15 and the mid level to 0. Now, as you can see, we cannot see the effect of the displacement. This is because we need to go up here and type in displacement. Go to the materials and set the displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. And now, as you can see, we are going to basically have an indent here. I recommend that you save now. I'm going to do that. Also here, let's set the roughness to zero real quick. Let's go to layout mode and set up the camera. So let's hit Shift A, camera. Control Alt zero to go into camera view. And let's press G and G set set to move it on the local set axis. Go to rendered view. And I'm going to reposition it a little bit like this, for example. I positioned it like this. You can copy these numbers if you want. 
that's set in empty. Now select the camera and go to depth of field and select the empty. This is going to be our focus object. I will set the F step to 1 and let's set the blades to 16. I went back to training to adjust the color of the water a little bit. I think something like this looks good. I'm also going to go to this color ramp here and bring the black in like this. I forgot to connect the color of this color ramp to color 1 instead of the gradient texture. Now we can basically adjust the height of the hole. I'm going to leave it somewhere around here. One more thing that I want to do is to put the light over here. So let's go to world here and press Ctrl T and rotate it on the set. Like this for example. Back in layout mode I'm also going to add a area light. Moved up. Go into top view and position it around here. Now press R and Y. Rotate it like this for example. And scale it up. I'm going to position the light around here, so let's press G, Shift, Z and R, Z. Let's scale it up a little, a little more. And now go to power and let's see how strong we need it. I think something around here is good. Now as you can see we have this edge here. So let's scale the light up even more. And now we need to increase the power again. Let's set it to 250 for example. I think this looks good. And set the color to something blue. Let's add another plane. Move it pretty far down like this for example. And scale it up. And now let's go to the materials and make it blue. Maybe not that blue, like this for example. Under the render properties go to color management and set the look to very high contrast. And let's set the max samples to 128 times 5 for example. Also let's enable denoise. You can use optics if you have an NVIDIA GPU or you can use open image denoise if you don't. Uh, I'm going to use optics. Now go to compositing, enable use nodes. And if you don't see these options here, you need to enable denoising data. Then add a denoise node set to a crit. Now let's save again and press F12. So that's it with the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.